What's going on everyone, this is Simon. In this video, I will break down and analyze Kevin Hayes' world record of solving 10 3x3 Rubik's Cube underwater in one breath. But first, I have two announcements. Today's video comment winner is by Lil Feast. This man is the reason why my soul is at peace right now. If you want to be featured in my video, be sure to comment below and hopefully you'll be picked for my comment winner in the next one. On Kevin Hayes' channel, he posted a video on November 14, 2019 showing his world record of solving 10 Rubik's Cube underwater. The clip is actually from a Spanish-speaking television. The official world record by Guinness is by Vaco Marstelasvili, an 18-year-old from Georgia, set on October 17, 2018 with 6 Rubik's Cube underwater. But on April 19, 2015, Kevin Hayes solved 8 Rubik's Cube underwater at Washington University in St. Louis. Being a former swimmer, Kevin had the lungs to hold his breath and the speed of a cuber to get 8 Rubik's Cube. Okay, so in this video, there were 10 Rubik's Cube up on near the surface of the a tank he was in. First he inspected the first one and then took a deep breath and then went down and started solving cube number one. He also has some sort of belt put on his waist so he could stay underwater. If you don't have a belt, you would have to blow all your bubbles out so you can sink to the bottom. But this belt really helped him stay at the bottom so he could just keep his muscles relaxed. His type of goggles was similar to this. A nice and clear so you could really see the, all the colors when you go underwater. Like this is white, red, yellow, orange, green, blue. So there will be no color discrepancy using this clear goggle. Now these kind of goggles would not be suitable because when you actually put them on, you actually, it changes color. So you might mess up the color when looking at this Rubik's Cube. And something like a mirrored goggle like this one, or even this one, is more suitable for outdoor swimming instead of solving it. And it, it does get really dark, I'm not sure, like that. It kind of darkens things, as opposed to one of these clear things. Also, what I noticed is that along the 10 cubes he had at the top, the yellow was facing out. So the white face, the white color, the white side was always facing him. He had five, five lined up, the white side facing him. And whenever he started solving a cube, he started solving the white side first as the bottom layer, do the second layer, and then it's finished with the top two layers. So always start with white side, uh, get the cross, F2L, first two layer, and then finish with the top, last layer, OLL and PLL. So the first one he did it in around nine seconds. And then after that it was 13 seconds, 12 seconds for the rest of the one, and then 10 seconds for the last one. With about a one to two second transition. So once he finished, he does the last algorithm. So let's say I'm doing a Y permutation right here. So he does the Y permutation in the middle of this algorithm. He looks at the next cube, look at the, the white color while solving it, grabs it, he finishes one, and then starts doing it. So he's actually inspecting it while he's finishing the last algorithm of the previous cube, which is very smart. You want to shorten that transition time as much as possible because those one seconds, one to two seconds transition add up. Like after the next one, that's like 20 seconds of transition time. So you really have to do the algorithm, look ahead, pick pick the next cube up, and then start solving the next one. At cube number six or seven, you can really see his face like starting to tighten up, and that's when the oxygen depletion starts showing up. I mean, you're underwater for one and a half minutes, and he's also keeping his muscles relaxed and trying to move as less as possible. So solve it, do that, like that, trying to move as less as possible. So you use less muscle and now that, that means less oxygen. And after the nice cube, uh, he already broke the world record, his unofficial world record of eight. So he had nine and then he, the last one he did it in 10 seconds and he was really speeding up. And then while he was solving the last cube, the last algorithm, he looked around, oh, just to make sure that he solved 10, that he was finished, and then he came up. I think he could have gotten one more, 
maybe. I don't really know how much oxygen he had left, but it seems like he could have done one more if he really pushed it. But at the same time, that's two minutes and ten seconds underwater, which is insane. I don't think I can hold my breath that long. With an average of 11 to 12 seconds, congratulations Kevin Hayes for breaking the world record of solving the most Rubik's Cube underwater with 10 Rubik's Cube being solved in one breath. That's the first double digit in history and maybe we'll see an 11 or 12 someone going in, holding their breath and solving it much faster. You never know. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and uh, as always, keep cubing and I'll see you guys later.